What's up guys, Josh here, and today we're doing some reverse online arbitrage using tactical arbitrage, man. This video is all about this little tab right here. We're gonna get into why this is the best feature that tactical arbitrage has and how you can really make the most use of it. All right, guys, so there are a few different ways to do online arbitrage using tactical arbitrage. And some of the most popular ones is to go over here to the product search. You go down here and you pick a website and then you use their easy bulk feature and select a category or select up to 500. Then you add that to your bulk and then hit search and tactical arbitrage goes and searches that. Another way would be to find uh, sites like this that are running sales. Let's just click on that banner there. Now we have 179 products that are on sale. We're gonna take this link, go back to Tactical Arbitrage. Let's find that website. There it is. And now we'll use this category selector to input that link that we copied. And again, we'll just hit search and away that will go. Now both those methods will work well and they will find you products that you can sell on Amazon. But I challenge you right now, if you are not running any reverse searches, if you're not filling up some of your active scans with reverse searches, go ahead and start doing that right now. This page right here has a lot of ways that you can go out there and start doing some reverse online arbitrage with ease. If you wanted to just scan the best sellers real quick, you could do that or the most wish or the movers and shakers, you could pick your category and away you go. If you wanted to do a quick keyword search in all categories or in specific categories, or if you wanna search a single or up to 100 ASINs, UPCs or book codes, you could do that right there. One other really popular feature is the seller ID search. So go out there, find some competition, somebody who's selling on the listings maybe you're already selling on and input their seller ID right here and Tactical Arbitrage will reverse search their store. They'll pull their ASINs from their storefront and search for those products online to see if it can find you profit. Now, just using those features and those search options that I showed you, you can very well go out, start doing reverse OA and find you some products to sell. But the star of this page, the option that I really want you to focus in on is this one right here, import bulk product codes. That is the focus of this video and exactly what I'm gonna show you how to use. So what is a product code? Where the hell can you get product codes in bulk? I'm gonna show you how to get all the codes you want. All right guys, check this out. Say you want to really niche down your store or say you sell something very, very well. You wanna expand on it, you wanna find more products to sell. You can come over here to Amazon and start doing a little product research right? It's simple little search. All I did was type in coffee under grocery and gourmet. Here's over 20,000 results. These are products that I could potentially sell. Now from here, you can start to do your research and go step by step. But the easier way to go about this process is to take it over to Keepa. Now I'm assuming that you guys already have Keepa, right? You're serious online arbitrage sellers and you have Keepa. You're paying for that monthly subscription, which gives you access to all the data and this data tab and the product finder. We're gonna use these filters right here to kind of mimic this search and really narrow it down and be more specific so that we can grab those bulk product codes, take it over to Tactical Arbitrage and run a search. So let's do it. Let's go down here to the category and we're gonna pick grocery. And right here in the text field, this acts as a keyword search. So we can just put in coffee and let's get our narrow down the results to only those grocery and gourmet listings that have the title or the keyword coffee in the title. And it produces it down to 31,899, right? Amazon said they had over 20,000 results. So that sounds about right. But what we're gonna do from here is kind of narrow it down even further because we have to get it down to a manageable amount with Keepa. More specifically, what we have to do is we have to get this down to under 10,000 products because Keepa will not let you export more than 10,000 products at one time. Uh, so it's a really small flaw in the issue, but you can really focus your searches in and narrow it down using these filters to get it under 10,000. So let's add a little bit more of uh, filters here. Let's go with the FBA offers of at least three. That should narrow it down quite a bit, 2,630. Now, these are the products that we probably actually wanna look further into. So I'm gonna hit that product, find product button. And here are a bunch of products that we could potentially start selling, or at the very least, uh, run a quick search, reverse search to see if there are 
out there online and we can buy them and ship them into Amazon for a profit. So this is just a real quick example of a simple search that you can do uh, with this data tab and you can do a lot more with it. Definitely go and play around with it. But for the purpose of this video, what I really want to show you how to do is how to export all of these ASINs. There's over 2000 results here on this page and right now we can only look at 100. So if you were to go and try to export right now, you would only be able to export the first 100 rows because it only exports whatever is displaying. So what we have to do is go up here and click on 100 rows and go all the way up to the most it allows, which is 5,000 there. It takes a little bit of time, but once it's done, it's gonna show us all of those results. There we go. Now that we're displaying all of the rows, we can go to export and we're gonna export only the ASINs because that's all we need for tactical arbitrage. We'll click on that. And it's gonna give us a file that is ready to use over in tactical arbitrage's reverse search. Here are all those ASINs, over 2,000 ASINs, possible products that we can now see if tactical arbitrage can find them online. So we're back over here. We're gonna import the bulk product codes, upload that file that we just downloaded from Keepa. Here it is, Keepa export. I'm gonna upload that. Hit this button. Hit it one more time. And you can see it uploading those ASINs right there, 2000 ASINs. We're gonna go in, we're gonna put in our filters and I'm just gonna keep it simple. I recommend that if you're doing these kind of searches that you keep it as simple as possible. You can filter results down later once you're sifting through the data. But for now, we're just gonna keep it simple and I'll hit search. And here you can see tactical arbitrage is gonna to start to comb through those products. We can actually see how many products it's gonna look at once it starts the search going here. There you go, 2,630 products expected to search for us. It's already checked 19, no products added yet. We can look at see what it's doing here. It's skipping some of the products because of the profit filters aren't there or there's not a price or a third party seller is selling it. So that's what we want tactical arbitrage to do. It's gonna run through all of those ASINs for us. And if there's anywhere to be found online, it's gonna show it to us. We can then research just a little bit more, but that is just one way to really go at it. If we go back, to this page again we really went specific with this and narrowed it down with the coffee title search right let me go ahead and eliminate that so with that gone you now got 40,000 products now you can't export 40,000 products at what time so again let's just narrow this down a little bit more let's say we want to look at only products that have at least a sale price of $15 14,000 now those are products that we want to look at now I'm going to show you a way to download the complete list of 14,000 and then take that over to tactical arbitrage. Now this really kind of unleashes the power of grabbing tons of ASINs. I mean, tens of thousands of ASINs every single day. You can do that, grab those ASINs and take them to reverse search and really just fill up all of your scans with reverse product sourcing by sourcing products that are actually selling currently on Amazon. I hope that makes sense. I think I kind of mumbled my way through it, but hopefully you understand what I'm talking about here. What we want to do is export all 14,000 of those ASINs. And again, with Keepa, you just can't do it. We can't get all 14,000 ASINs on one single page, but there is a tool out there, a pretty inexpensive tool, a Chrome extension that allows you to pull those ASINs. So the tool I use is called ASIN Gadget, and you can find links for every single thing that I use to do everything that I'm showing you right there in the description. But what we're doing is we're gonna do a Keepa product search export. Let me just click on that button, and we're gonna need the API from this search that we set up. So let's just copy that API. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna paste it in, and I'll just put testing, for now, and we'll hit export and all of those ASINs are gonna get exported for me. Now, as soon as that is done, which is gonna take, you know, maybe less than a minute to do, depending on how big it is, but we're gonna take that file, once it spits it out, to reverse search, and you can see there it goes. Finally, I had to talk enough just to get that to spit out, but it did spit out pretty quickly. We're gonna take this complete huge list of hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of ASINs over here to reverse search and upload that. This feature right here is incredibly powerful and as long as you have Keepa, you can really take full use of it. You can see that it's already checked 179 products out of that search. It's actually added two products for me to look at, all right? So I'm already getting some products back that may be profitable for me. Now, before you go away from this video, I wanna show you one more thing that ASIN Gadget can do that can really help you take this import bulk product codes feature 
to the extreme, especially if you don't want to deal with Keepa, you don't want to set up scans and searches and filter through all of these kinds of results. So back over on Amazon, I want to get a little bit more specific with my search. I'm just going to put in Trader Joe's coffee, right? Because I know that's a retail arbitrage item, right? Trader Joe's doesn't sell on Amazon themselves, even though I think Trader Joe's is restricted now. So it's not the best example, but I'm using it for this purpose. Ace and Gadget appears right here on the search listings. It also appears on the listing pages of the exact item. But what I'm doing is I'm going through here and I'm looking for products with a nice amount of sellers. This one has nine FBA sellers, 14 fulfilled by merchant. This one has 24 FBA sellers and 12 fulfilled by merchant. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this open and look at it a little bit further. This is not the best example. Again, I'm just doing this for the purpose of this video, but look, it's a three pack. We're only gonna get back $7.86. There's probably not a product that I would look further into, but the products, the people that are selling these products might have other products that can lead us to profits. And we can download a complete list of all of their ASINs by using ASIN gadget right here. This simple little G gear, all you have to do is click on it and it's going to scrape those stores of all of those sellers and give you a complete list of all of those ASINs. There are times when I do this, when I get tens of thousands of ASINs at one single time. It takes some time to go through all those stores, but it's definitely worth it to go and set these up because when it's done, I mean, you can literally get hundreds of thousands of ASINs every single day doing this process and take those ASINs over to Tactical Arbitrage and run these kinds of reverse searches and find profits like crazy. All right, guys, I hope this video made sense and you understand why reverse product search is probably the best feature you should be using right now in Tactical Arbitrage, especially if you pair it with something like ASIN Gadget, where you can pull hundreds of thousands of ASINs every single day. It's really going to turn this product search into an extreme search. If you want to get into reverse online arbitrage sourcing, definitely check out Tactical Arbitrage, the reverse product search feature, and ASIN Gadget. Use the links in the description. I surely do appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys on that next money-making adventure. Peace.